Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dima Tutorials. Dima Tutorials is an educational channel on YouTube, on Facebook, and on TikTok. In today's video, I want us to look at the difference between these words, lay and lie, okay? Lay and lie. Now, why I chose to talk about these words is because um, they're kind of tricky in their past tense and participle forms, okay? So it's important for us to get a hang of these words and how to use them in sentences. And I've seen a lot of questions on these words in jump past questions. Um, we are going to answer one at the end of this video. In jump past questions, I'm posting any past questions, okay? I've seen questions on these, on the use of these words in posting in past questions and also in WASC past questions. So it's important for you to understand these words and how to use them in a sentence, okay? How to use them in their past forms and in their participle forms, okay? Now let's get started with the word lie, L-I-E, lie, okay? The word lie simply means to um, stay in a horizontal position, okay? Supporting yourself on a surface, okay? The word lie simply means to stay in a horizontal position, okay? In a horizontal position, supporting yourself on a surface, okay? For example, to lie on the bed, okay, to lie down, okay, so that's the meaning of the word lie, which I believe you already know. Now, the word lay simply means to put something down gently, okay, to put something down gently and carefully, to put something down gently and carefully. For example, lay the baby on the bed, it means put down the baby gently and carefully on the bed, okay, to lay something means to put something down, to put something down gently or carefully, okay? Now, the difference in this words is that lay, you have to perform an action on something, okay? You have to take something and put on something, okay? You have to know, take something and put on something. Whereas lie simply means to place oneself on a surface, okay? Horizontally on a surface, okay? So that's the difference between these words. Now, let's get to the tricky part. The tricky part is in their past forms, okay? In their past forms. Now, the past tense of lie is lay. Lay. Not because it has an overlap with the word lay that I already explained, okay? So, lay is the past tense of lie. For example, I lay down on her bed last night, okay? I lay down on her bed last night. Now, the past tense of lay is laid, okay? Laid. She laid the baby on the cot. She laid the baby on the cot. She laid the blanket on the floor. Now let's get to the participles, okay? Let's start with the past participles. Now the past participle of the word lie is laying. For example, I had lain on his bed before he arrived, okay? I had lain on his bed before he arrived. That's the past participle of the word lie. I had lain on the couch before he told me to get up, okay? So the past participle of the word lie is lain, okay? The past participle of the word lie is lain. Now, the past participle of the word lay is laid, okay? The past participle of the word lay is laid, okay? She had laid the baby on the cot before the mother arrived. She had laid the baby on the cot before the baby stopped crying, okay? So the past participle of the word lay is laid, okay? Now, let's look at the present participle. Now, the present participle of the word lie is lying. Lying, L-Y-I-N-G, lying, okay? Now, the present participle of the word lie is lying, okay? You've been lying on the bed all day. You've been lying on the bed all day, okay? That's the present participle of the word lie. He's been lying on the floor since morning. He's been lying on the floor since morning. He's been lying down since he became sick. Now, the present participle of the word lay is laying, okay? You've been laying this blanket for the past five minutes, okay? So that's the difference between these words and their tenses. Now it's time for us to answer a question from the past questions. 
Now, before we go to answer your question from the past questions, okay, it's important for me to tell you guys, in case you didn't know, that um, I have a WhatsApp class and I'll be coaching a lot of students, 450 students, okay, on WhatsApp. And we're going to be having a region class, which is going to start on the 12th of March, okay? So you have the opportunity of joining us in the region class. In the region class, we're going to have a holistic revision of everything we've learned. We're going to focus on the syllables, okay, using the past questions to prepare very well for the exam, okay? So if you've not joined the class, you have an opportunity of joining us now, okay? The class is going to start on the 12th of March. The fee is just 1000 naira for a whole month, okay? So rush now and join us in the class, okay? You shouldn't miss this class. Make sure you join the WhatsApp class. The number is on the screen, okay? The number is on the screen. Make sure you join the class. Send me a WhatsApp message using the number on the screen, okay? So let's... Um, after a question from jump past questions, okay. So I already have it here. 2008. This question from 2008. When I came in, I dash A laid on the floor, B lie on the floor, C laying on the floor, and D um lay on the floor. Okay. When I came in, okay. When I came in was in the past. It happened in the past. Okay. When I came in suggests that the action happened in the past. Okay. I dash. Now, we have option A, laid. Laid is the past tense of the word lay, okay? L-A-Y, lay. is the past tense of the word lay. And it's not the correct answer. It's the past tense and past participle of the word lay. And it's not the correct answer, okay? Now, you don't, you know, carry yourself um, and place on something. You simply lie, okay? You don't lay. You lie, not lay, okay? So, it's not the correct answer. Option B, we have lie on the floor okay lie is um present simple tense and this um sentence is in the past tense okay simple past tense okay so option b is not correct option c laying laying on the floor now laying is the past participle of the word lie okay the past participle of the word lie now to use past participle you have to use um had okay i had laying on the floor um, before she arrived, okay? So, if you want to use lay, which is the past participle of the word lie, your sentence has to be in the um, plural perfect tense or the past perfect tense. So, you have to use had. So, you can say, I had lay on the couch before, um, before any other thing happened. Or, I had lay on the floor. When I came in, I had lay on the floor before um before my friend arrived okay so two actions are supposed to happen in this sentence for you to use lay okay so it's not the correct answer option d we have lay on the floor what's the past tense of lie the past tense of lie is lay so lay on the floor is the correct answer option d is the correct answer okay the sentence is a simple past tense okay something that happened in the past okay so the correct answer is option d so i need you guys to get mastery of these words because um, like i said at the beginning of the video i see questions on these words in past questions including posting in past questions okay that'll be all for today i hope you can dwell from this video thank you very much for watching and see you in another video like i said if you want to join my whatsapp class send a whatsapp message to me using the number on the screen okay send a whatsapp message to me using the number on the screen the fee is just one thousand naira for a month for a whole month i'm going to be coaching you on the use of english preparing to smash the subject in your exams make sure you join me on whatsapp okay thank you very much for watching and see you in another video if you've not subscribed to this channel make sure you subscribe so you can see my other videos and also get notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching and see you in another video.